Hello everyone, welcome back to this video series on understanding Pinnacle 21 issues in SDTM dataset. So in this video, we will see some issues which are seen in LB dataset. Again, as in the previous video, I will be using the example from LB domain from SDTM IG 3.3. So I have placed the data which I am going to use to uh, demo in this video in an Excel file. I have created a program to import this into SAS uh, as a SAS dataset and then convert it into a data set, uh, XPT file and then generate the P21 report. So let's go to the SAS program. I want to import LB001 sheet. So I'll just save this, run this file. So I have my XPT file created here. So I'll go to Pinnacle 21, go to validator. So I'm using FDA latest engine 2204.1. So we are looking at SDTM data sets. And as we are using examples from SDTM IG 3.3, I have selected the configuration as 3.3 for FDA. So I'll go with the control terminology, whichever was available latest in Pinnacle 21 community. So I'll go with the default. I'll just select the XPT file here select open and then i'll click on the button to validate it so here as we are specifically looking at the issues which will be seen in lb i am only using lb dataset as an example so in a typical study you would try to run with all the other dependent data sets like dem trial design domains also if you are trying to look at the issues for this so i'll just try and go ahead and select the single data set and then, then try to validate it So it says our validation was complete. So if we quickly take a look at the summary here, it said validation took three seconds, 12 records were examined across all data sets and one of one data sets were validated because we have only one data set selected. And then it said 15 messages were generated and then total 603 checks were performed on this one single data set. So let us open the report. So here again in the validation summary, we will get to know like what was the validation engine used and what was the configuration used, the date when the report was generated and the control terminology selected to generate this report along with the software version that is used. So let's go to the dataset summary as we have selected only LB domain. So we have checks related to that. Along with that, we have some global metadata related checks. So now let's move to the issue summary sheet. So which has some global checks and some LB dependent checks. So in the global checks, if you see there were three rejects. So defined.xml is not present. So it said missing defined.xml and it said missing dm dataset and missing ts dataset. So which means that these three files are expected at least if we are going for a submission. So uh, let us go move to the LB related issues. So the first one said LB test CD and LB test values do not have the same code in CDISC CT. And second one has SDTM data set variable type mismatch. And third one said expected variable LB ST REFC not found and regulatory expected variable epoch not found missing lbdy variable when lbdtc variable is present now let us move to the detail sheet and then try to understand what is that so here now we have rows related to the lb domain and also the global uh, checks so here if we take a look at the first issue that is found lb test cd comma lb test so it said lym le lymphocyte and the message is lb test cd and lb test values do not have the same code in cdisk ct so if we now go ahead and take a look at the message uh, the backend issue that gets checked for ct2003 is so if we see now so here it says paired variables such as test and test cd must be populated using the terms with the same code list coded value in cdisk control terminology there is one to one relationship between paired variable values defined in CDS control terminology by code list code value. So in order to understand this issue, so let us go to the site wherein we have the control terminology for LB test 
can be test cd and test can be seen together so i'm going to the resource on the resources page i'm going to htm version index page so in this i want to filter for lb domain so i want to see the variables associated with lb so i'm clicking on this lb domain abbreviation so it took me to the list of variables which are present in lb test lb domain so for this if we see lb test cd so we have a code list associated so let's click on that and let's open that in a new window so now we have lb test cd value so let us come back to the report for once and then see what was the message for so the message was triggered for lym le so i am selecting that and then i am coming back to the website and then so here i have reorganized the code list so uh, in such a way that wherever paired code list exists so i have the code and decode appearing side by side so in standard control terminology you would have to find the code uh, you will find a separate code for your test cd and also a test so what i have done here is that i have reorganized such that both lb test cd and lb test values appear in code and decode values side by side so it becomes easy to cross verify things so here if i have filtered for code is equal to lym le it said the associated test value has to be lymphocytes by leukocytes so but whereas in our data what was the case so we had it as lymphocytes so lymphocyte when lb test cd is lym le so this must have been lymphocytes slash leukocytes so we have used an incorrect test value in our example so this is throwing us the, a issue because of this so how do we fix it so we will have to use the correct test value in our lb test variable so now let us come back to the report and then see other issues so so we have three issues which seems to be related to the sdtm data set variable type mismatch so stnr high stnr low and strsn so in the input in the data which we have passed to uh, pinnacle 21 so we had it as character so how do we check what should be the type of it so you can go to the sdtm ig and then look for the type of the variable that those variables have to be so here in the website if we clicked on the lb domain so we had the list of variables so we are looking for variables which were starting with st lbst so strsn is supposed to be numeric strnr low is supposed to be numeric strni hi is also supposed to be numeric but in in the input data set that we passed so we had it as character so it triggered a message because of that and then the next message said sdtm expected variable lbst refc not found so this variable is 3.3 ig specific even in the example that they have provided we did not have this variable so this is an expected variable but in the example they provided we do not have it so we'll try to fix it by adding a, this variable and just keeping it null in the subsequent steps and then we have this check with said variable versus data set epoch lb so regulatory expected variable epoch not found so it said epoch variable is expected as per the fda's requirement in lb data set but it is not present in our lb so we need to add the epoch variable and then it said variable data set lbdy lb so missing lbdy variable when lbdtc variable is present so if we go back to our input data so we had lb dtc but we did not have lb dy variable so whenever lb dtc is available so we should also create lb dy variable so we have an issue there so what i did is i tried to fix some of these issues and then created a sheet called lb 001 fixed one so we'll try to import this so here i have converted stres into numeric stnr low to numeric i have left stnr high as is and i have added ht refc which was missing and then i added lbdy variable and also the epoch variable which we were getting as that these two variables were missing in the input data set so ht refc was also uh, missing so we added these three variables and then i attempted the conversion of ht resn and stnr low so now let us try to run the p21 report using this updated data set so 
Well, let's come back. So again, as mentioned in the previous video also, so you would actually try to, here I am, as I'm demonstrating, I am importing the data from an Excel file. So, but you would actually update your LB dataset program, which creates your LB dataset to handle these kind of issues. And in case, even if you need to update your specification, you will update that. If there is any data issue, you would get it uh, corrected in the raw source data. And if there is any programming error, so you would fix that in your programs. So again, don't assume that you will be manually changing things in an Excel file and then perform the checks again. So now let us come back and then try to use this updated sheet and then run our checks. So our XPT file got created again. So from this new file, so let us go back and then delete this old file. So let's select the updated file. So click open and then click validate. So now we have around 13 messages generated. Let us click and open the report. So we'll now directly go to the detail sheet and then see what are the so we have three messages which are related to SG. so we have fixed only the character to numeric conversion for strsn and str low so those two messages were gone and now we only have one such instance which is for lbst nr high and then now earlier we had a issue wherein which said epoch variable was missing now but we have a different message for epoch variable if we see data set variable lb epoch variable is in wrong order within the domain so how do we fix these kind of issues so we would have to go to our sgtm ig and then look for the order of the variables in that particular thing and then in our final data set also we need to order the variables in the same way now if we go to the example which we have used in lbfix01 i have added the epoch variable towards the end now let us come back to the website wherein i have the variables listed here so i'll just try to remove the all the filters which i had and now let us see where should epoch variable be present so here if we just scroll down so we have epoch here and this should have appeared before lbdtc variable so but we had epoch variable in the input data after lbdy so which is not correct so i have fixed this in a new sheet called fixed 02 so i have brought it back to the actual position where it should have been. So if you are creating your actual real time LB data set, so you may use some kind of retain statement for ordering your variables. Or if you are reading metadata from specification to handle all the what variables to be kept and in what order they have to be kept. So if you missed this thing in your specification, you would correct the order in your specification or in your program and then generate the data set so that the epoch variable appears in the correct position. So I have fixed this now and then let's go back to the report and see so it said lbst refc was missing earlier now the variable itself was not present earlier now we have added the variable and it said as expected variable with missing value for all records so it is cautioning us that to go back and cross check if we had not uh, if we had missed something when by when assigning or creating these variables as all of them had missing values so now as uh, for this video i will not try to put any values for strefc so i'll just leave as is i will now in the next step we'll try to fix this epoch variable thing so we have already i have already done that in lb fixed 02 sheet so i'll try to import that one and then try to recreate the report so now I have my file imported and XPT file created. Let's go to our Pinnacle 21. Let's remove the previous instance and then select the updated file. Click on open and then try to validate. So we are now expecting that epoch related order issue seems to be resolved. So earlier we had 13 messages. Now we had 12. So hoping that message is resolved now. So here, now if we go to the detail sheet under LB, earlier we had three, now we only have two. So STNR high, I have left it uh, for time being. And then for uh, variable uh, STR EFC, so it is cautioning us that, but I have not made any changes to this variable. I have just added that column, but not updated any values into it. So this is how you will try to 
fix one issue at a time or a group of issues at a time and then regenerate and then see and again it's a bit best practice that you try to run pinnacle 21 for the data set which you are working on as and when you complete one so if there are any validation issues so or uh, any other issues which may need an update in the specification or in your program may get caught up front and then if you try to run towards the end of your study when all the data sets are available so you'll have to invest more time trying to understand fixing things thank you for watching and keep learning